Hello uh, folks and welcome back to Sweden, coming to Sweden to be more exact. We are into the 1950s, I'm hungover, I came back from a party, and uh, well, I've only had like four hours of sleep, which is quite a lot for the bright uh, Swedish summer that we have up here. I mean, I walk through like the deserted city for several kilometers, it's just like deserted and it's bright, like 3 a.m. Actually, no, I got home at 6, but... Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it felt like it was in the middle of the day, anyway, so, yes, 1950, it's been rather awkward the past two episodes, so I must forgive, uh, you must forgive me for that, I did expect the game to end, but I, yeah, I can imagine that the game doesn't end, as I've clarified before, until pr probably the Axis falls, or, uh, wars between two, uh, factions, um, uh, stop. So we have kind of like, not world peace, but uh, just overall peace. Anyhow, I don't really think we as Sweden can do much anymore. We're just gonna go ahead and build up our fleet. I'm, um, wait, uh, should I do convoy raiding? Or, no, let's do search and destroy. But let's not, no, no, you, you go back home. Uh, okay, you know what, whatever. I'm just going to take them away from the North Sea here and just focus on the Baltic, build up the fleet as much as possible, uh, keep producing planes, and then just hope that the Soviets do everything. Otherwise, I mean, we'll, we'll help out if we can in certain places, but I really doubt we can do much. Um, we, we're just here defending Europe. I think we'll also kind of maybe work on uh, political stuff, but there aren't many countries left that are neutral. Uh, Brazil failed, revolutionary Argentina is communist, but they haven't joined, so it's kind of annoying. Oh, and uh, as you ob obviously see, I gave back most of the territory into Soviet control. It doesn't mean that we won't be able to do stuff once the peace treaty comes around, it's just that they're better at occupying the territory and taking care of stuff, right? So I just, I don't have as many troops, so I just want to focus on uh, what I have, and I there's a bunch of dockyards here, so we'll focus on trying to build a large navy. I don't think it will ever be able to defeat the full might of the UK and American navies, especially at this point, but, you know, we can try. Oh, just look at this. Oh my god. We will, I think, fabricate some stuff on Afghanistan here for uh, the Soviets, because it would rel relieve a lot of divisions that just stand around for no particular reason. Um, alright, we've, uh, increased the size of our armored divisions just uh, by another, or the width, rather, of our, uh, thing. I think we're, I'm, I'm also gonna start researching, like, specialized tanks that are, oh, this tank is good at anti-air, and this tank is, like, cannons and shit, uh, and then we'll kind of, uh, have a super awesome armored division that doesn't really need the support, and then we can put other kinds of support on there. Oh yes, I see a Soviet plan pop up in order to do a naval invasion in the Philippines. It says one division though. I'm not too sure that's a, an amazing idea, but you know, whatever. Alright, they call Afghanistan the, um, is it the, oh, the Graveyard of the Empires. Alexander the Great invaded it. I mean, of course, he didn't die there and his empire didn't end because of Afghanistan. He actually died closer to uh, what's nowadays Iraq, but whatever. Uh, the the British invaded it, and shortly after, or they didn't really expand beyond that. Uh, the Soviets invaded that, and shortly afterwards they fell. The Americans are <laughs> invaded it, and they're not uh, as powerful as they used to be. Controversial, I know, but whatever. It's just what they say about Afghanistan. Uh, however, we do have a conquest thing. So let's call in our allies and make sure that the Soviets invade Afghanistan. Japan is recapturing Japan, holy crap. Ah, this war is never gonna end, will it? Ah, those bastards, the Swiss joined the allies. I was just talking about them in the last episode about this, the Swiss never doing anything. This, this might actually be bad because they have a, a lot of divisions over here. Uh, I might have to send reinforcements. They've joined the Allies, but they haven't joined the war, apparently, so... Well, <laughs> so much for that. Alright, there we go. 
Hello, Swiss. Holy shit, you're actually winning. You're on the offensive. You know, I just realized we must have lost quite a few tank divisions. We only have two of them. That's uh, very odd. Alright, we've split off uh, some units from our other offensive division, or army. And uh, now they're just uh, attacking the Swiss. And they're, I, th I, I feel like it's going to be a pretty uh, easy and quick victory. Bern has fallen into uh, Swedish hands, and now to Zurich. And uh, soon they'll be destroyed. Sven Linderoth has announced the cowardly Swiss nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Swedish forces throughout the country. The Swiss government chose to flee the country. Okay, well, it seems like we got control over Switzerland. Or at least parts of it. Um, I might ask the Soviets to... to give me some stuff here. Italy, what? Italy. Okay, we need to occupy that, but... Otherwise, it's just funny if uh, we just get control of it, over that just for fun even if uh, it's not very useful at all and I'm not gonna station any troops there just for the the fact that you know S Sweden Switzerland they get mi mixed up there we go a true Swedish home in the mountains it's a nice mountain retreat Swedes uh, will get to ski here and have lots of fun right all right we have uh, just uh, unlocked nuclear bombs um, so we can start producing nukes. However, we don't have any nuclear power plants in our country, and I feel like uh, the production of those should be prioritized, because it would be a lot of fun to drop nukes on London, especially after, you know, them making my stay in the region, or in, in this game, so long, you know. They have to pay. Aw, oh, Sunshine Rikne was shot down by Pebbles. Pebbles apparently is a Canadian ace fighter pilot. Huh, interesting. We're finally gonna try to take Boonholm after such a, le a long time around here. Um, it's just been sitting there, I haven't really thought about it. But we're gonna send two infantry divisions from uh, Karlskrona to take it. There we go, it's finally ours. Not so difficult, after all. Uh, now this is the garrison one. Okay, you go back to him. And, uh, yes. Wonderful. I gave up on uh, the Benelux region. Not because we weren't killing more than we were producing, but because uh, since we were losing so many, I felt like, yeah, whatever. Uh, it won't lead to anything anyway. So I've moved them over to Italy. We're going to try to take down these bombers and these fighters flying over here. Um, and then maybe we'll move them somewhere else to kind of rest and build up a proper force, actually. Oh, we're really close to Pretoria now. That's, uh, quite incredible. Uh, it's 19... still 1950. Nice. Holy shit, my tactical bombers, which I thought weren't supposed to be doing... Like, I put them on missions here in the, uh, English, uh, channel, but I thought... Well, they don't actually bomb ships, because their, mis their mission here, I just put close air support, uh, strategic bombing, and port strike, but you know, this is water. But I thought, yeah, maybe some ships will pass by and they can bomb that, but it doesn't actually say that they can do that, and somehow, that actually happened. So that's pretty incredible. It says, uh, did we lose something? Oh no, yeah, we sunk the... A battle cruiser, Jesus! A fucking battle cruiser. Okay. Well, of course, we have <laughs> 494 planes, but still, that's quite incredible. And let's see another destroyer. That's in nice. All right, let's start researching strategic bombers. These things are the ones who are gonna deliver our nukes. Um, so pretty important. All right, you know, screw it. Let's uh, start building up our defenses or our Air Force without taking huge losses because our uh, kill to death ratio here in Italy was starting to meet one to one, which I don't necessarily like because our production of aircraft is much lower than uh, American production. I mean, just uh, let's take a look at their thing again. Um, just their Air Force. Uh, just uh, 20. Thousand to forty thousand—that's just crazy. The Soviets have uh, a meager one thousand 
114 wings and we have like uh total of uh what is that three four uh, less than a thousand the democratic republic of Aga afghanistan has capitulated wonderful seems like uh we we still have we got a province there which we shouldn't have so i'll talk to stalin and uh let him have that wait i can't that's weird yes let's boost communism in tibet because uh <laughs> i curious to see their flag that might actually be an interesting let's play imagine tibet actually uh i think the first uh, aar i did on the paradox forums on hearts of iron 3 was uh a tibetan playthrough so technically it's like the first let's play i did i didn't i didn't get very far i conquered yunnan and then i think started moving it was kind of boring because you know uh playing as a small nation hearts of iron 3 was very very tough, especially as Tibet. But, uh, you know, we'll, uh, maybe we'll look into that if you're interested. And of course, as soon as I move my airplanes into western or northern Germany, there they start moving their shit to bomb my crap. So I'm not gonna actually stay there. I think I'll go back to the Benelux region and then try to maybe retreat into like eastern Poland here. Uh, seems like uh, a place where the Soviets are building up a nice airplane fleet. Um, but yeah, we'll just, I don't want them bombing my crap. They can bomb Soviet crap, but not my crap. Uh, let's send it here. There we go, now it's just a waiting game. Let's check out the map. Common turn, oh, look at that, that is beautiful. Cape Town will fall very soon. These naval battles that keep popping up in the ba Baltic Sea again are the search and destroy and the, the, the submarines that seem to be roaming in the Baltic Sea, but that... Are never really defeated and never really do any damage it's not it's almost like they don't actually have a proper battle everyone seems to retreat before they get to the front line let's see yeah I, I don't understand though let's try to stage another coup in Brazil uh, I know it's kind of crazy and they'll probably lose but whatever and look at that we are on our way to making a nuclear bomb. 357 days left. Uh, we're constructing more power plants though, so that should definitely speed up. I think it's a 0.2% uh, per day per nuclear reactor, so if we have five of them, that's 1% per day. Uh, and I think, yeah, we'll be having 1.2% per day, so should be a decent pace. We already have a carrier in service, but now we're producing a carrier four, uh, MK1. Actually, I just uh, used our points to make it uh, give it one point in all categories, so it has greater reliability, greater deck size, and so on. Um, actually, something I should check is the default size here. Let's do some. No, actually, let's do 40 naval bombers. South Africa has capitulated. Wonderful. Wonderful. Sorry, I tried to do an accent there, but I don't think that was that went very well. Uh, let's see, 38% to the nuke. Wonderful. We're just increasing our speed. 111 days. We have a bunch of tactical bombers. I don't know if the tactical bombers are can deliver a payload, though. Uh, let's actually check that out. Okay, if I click London, I click drop a nuclear bomb. At least one strategic bomber in range. Okay, so it's strategic bombers we need to start producing. I should definitely get that queued up. And I think, I mean, sure, they have air supremacy over uh, southern England, but I think it's just a matter of us having supremacy for a few seconds, you know, uh, or a few hours in the game. So we just pushed, put everything we can into southern England for, for a while and uh, hope for the best. Now Portugal's almost, uh, or just past 50% communism here, I think they will have a coup soon. I'm hoping that they don't uh, turn out like uh, Argentina and start supporting the Allies, but uh, still don't join the war. I want them to be on my side. Worst case scenario, we totally destroy them and wreck them. I think uh, we have the manpower for that, although there are no troops stationed down south here. So, hmm. Although I think... Yeah, they're probably focusing on this. I don't know what the Soviets are doing, though, with the... How many is it now? The two... 797 
uh, divisions. Let's check the U.S. actually. We know that they have between 578 to 1061. I know that earlier I checked and it was like 600, so it's probably, or the maximum was on 600, so I think it's closer to 600, 700 in that range there. Meanwhile, we've surpassed the United Kingdom. They only have 38 to 85 divisions and 133 to 169 factories. 169 factories being the maximum, we have 203. So we're pretty good. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We actually, f finally, one of these battles turned out into something. It's giving me a report. Uh, I guess it's not completely done because they're still fighting, but they sunk my carrier ones. That's uh, horrible. Just goddamn sub submarines defeated my navy, the pr like my centerpiece. That's very sad. Uh, but on the other hand, we're producing better carriers now, so whatever. I swear, for a fraction of a second, the AI drew like uh, naval invasion into Ireland, and I was so happy. I was like, finally, we're gonna start doing something. But then it just disappeared as I was about to talk about it. We definitely don't want to antagonize the Portuguese. Look at the amount of troops they just have there, just sitting around for fun. Um, I mean, sure, we, we would beat them, but I don't, I mean, we would beat them if we put a bunch of troops here. However, I think they could make a, definitely make a push, uh, take Republican Spain by surprise, and, uh, catch us off guard and then the allies pouring troops in here and just overwhelming us so we definitely don't want them just turning and again I'm really sorry if I sound like slow or rather confused at times it's just the, the alcohol got to me yesterday uh, the partying I don't know even I don't even know why I'm playing it's just I was I dreamt about this I was like I I can't uh, I was like I, I need to get to the end of this game I need to see the allies defeated I just, uh, and especially the Axis, come on, Japan. Oh, wait, wait, you see a line? You see a line? <gasps> they're doing it, they're doing it. How, ma how many divisions is this gonna be? Can we read it? Is there, is there a thing here? Oh, oh, one division, two, army two, two transports. Will they get over, though? Like, is that a realistic scenario? Are they, are we really trying this? It's quite insane. This Spanish are doing this. Yeah, our Air Force has surpassed the Soviet one. Look, 2,641, 1,110. But they're focusing, I guess, on making more divisions and not a larger navy. Oh, look at that. We have the same navy size as the Soviets. Interesting. They do have a lot of coasts, so I imagine they should have been building more. But I think their focus here has been convoys, actually. Alright, look at that. We have one nuclear bomb to uh, use here. And here's a plan. Plan A, London. Plan B, Japan. Uh, but the thing with plan B, though, it's rather odd because, I mean, we, we won't be able to put in... Actually, yeah, no, there are two air bases here. No, actually, forget, forget that. I do think we can uh, achieve air superiority over here for a short while. Uh, but yes, let me just uh, move. We have a bunch of fighters now. If we check here, we have um, all of these 988 plus uh, some more here, and then we also have the rocket interceptors and the bombers. In f or this is yeah, we have the strategic bombers here and the tactical bombers in the Benelux area, and we'll use them all to get superiority for a very short while over London. Alright, this is it. This is the moment. We have over 75% superiority, I believe. Uh, and thus, I can go ahead, click here. Oh wait, no. At least 75% superiority. Why, uh, I d don't I have that? Let me check again. I don't, I really don't like this. Superiority. To, uh, what's the total? Omission oh, efficiency is down though. That's not very good. Rain, rain. 
rain. It might be that. Oh shit. You know what? Screw it. We're uh, we're moving in for Dublin. Uh, London is overcrowded. The rain is terrible there. Oh shit. Why do we still have fighters over here? You people are supposed to. Ah, oh, you can't reach. Is that it? Uh, how many planes is this? Nine hundred and something. Where do we have space? Do we have space somewhere close? Go over there. And uh, base your mission to somewhere else. All right, but let's uh, actually go ahead and drop the nuke. Uh, is it F1? No, not mode. All right, let's do it. Oh, poor Dublin. I'm sorry, Irish viewers. This is just, uh, you know, it's just what we have to do. We have to show the world that we have nukes now and that a new age has begun. Uh, the Irish have provoked us for too long. Yes, because, you know, the Irish are totally the ones we are uh, angry at. Three hours, two hours, three, one. Oh my god. Poor Dublin. Poor Dublin. No. Oh wow. Well, that was uh, actually quite exciting. Oh, okay. Let's read this. Atomic bombing of Leinst Leinster. Is it Leinster or Leinchester? Whatever. Uh, you'll have to correct me. For the first, uh, and, uh, for the first and hopefully last time in history, a nuclear bomb has been detonated in Leinster as part of international warfare. The unprecedented destruction stands testament to the devastating power of this new weapon, which is feared not only for what it can do to its targets, but what implication it has for the one who deploys it and for humanity itself. The world holds its breath, waiting for what will come next. Will this force Ireland to surrender? To avoid further terror, or will it only strengthen their resolve to strike back against those who would resort to such measures? Uh, Alright, the atomic era has truly begun. Wow. Uh, let's check out the map mode. Let's uh, put everyone on retreat to... I don't know, just don't do your missions. I, d I don't want anyone flying there. Stay at home and uh, go back. Congratulations, we've... New York's our first city, and uh, I don't think that will be the end. We shall continue to nuke things until the Allies and the Axis surrender to the might of the Swedish Empire. Oh, sorry. I was like, Swedish Empire. Suddenly it's like the commentary. And I was like, oh my god, have we become Soviets? No, yes, the Soviets, I guess, are the stronger player in this. But uh, we'll see once the peace treaties come along what we can uh, pull out from it. I love that when we click major countries, we get us on the list here. Although Canada and British Raj are here, which isn't exactly true, because uh, British Raj is gone. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's nice to see. Japan controls 10% of victory points and will capitulate when it has 10% or less. Well, really? Really? Alright, so now we're just waiting for the next nuke. And uh, then we'll use it on Japan. I've been thinking, uh, if that works out, maybe we should like bomb Tokyo and other uh, British-held Japanese things. Uh, we'll see, though. I What I really just want is for the Axis War here to end uh, so we can take stuff. We have pretty much lost over, or almost a million men in, in uh, these wars. And it's just, uh, think about that for a second, you know. One million men in the population of seven million, that's... Pretty tough. Jet strategic bombers, here we go. Our nukes right now take about 91 days to produce. Um, let's uh, actually, it's time. We have a nuke. We have our superiority in the region. We have our strategic bombers in place. How many are they actually? I should check. 18. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead. Uh, this is the highest victory point thing I can see in the region, I think, that Japan has that I can reach. Everything else is too far away, unfortunately. Where is the Japanese capital? Here it is. How many? That doesn't. F five victory points. Okay, so this should actually push them over the edge. Let's uh, watch the nuke dr be dropped, as always. Click on pause. And uh, let's just uh, speed that up just a little bit and slow it down. Oh, 
I, f I feel horrible inside, and yet it's so pretty on the game. Uh, it's a game, okay? But I I'm sorry to anyone who lives in these countries, um, or wh whoever feels like this is horrible. I, I also feel it. It's kind of disgusting, but um, <laughs> we're doing it. So, don't we get to... Uh, isn't Japan surrendering now? Wasn't that... Didn't that tip them over the edge? Because in Hearts of Iron 3... Yeah, uh, nukes used to lower national unity. All right, so the second revolution in Brazil has fired off, and um, it does seem like they do have quite a nice advantage here in terms of having closed off Recife or Rio Grande, because um, this is... Uh, I'm really bad at the northern states, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, we should definitely help them out or lend Lee something. Um... Let's actually... Why can't they... You know what, let's improve relations. We produce six jet fighters per day. Let's uh, be generous to Brazil here and give them like... I don't know... 60 of them? That's 10 days of production? That's quite a lot of fighters. Alright, they'll need a shit ton of co convoys to carry this over, especially... the super heavy tanks, <laughs> I imagine. Uh, but whatever, let's... Uh, let's do it. We'll give them as much as as much stuff as we we can, really. All right, we have a plan here. We're gonna take Ashi Ashigawa. Uh, they don't. Re Japan doesn't really have any divisions, and after us nuking them, I don't think there's anything around here. Uh, and we do have air superiority, so we can finally execute our plan. And um, yeah, this should be the end of the war with the Axis, at least. The Second Brazilian Republic joined the Allies. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, crap. That's that's not what I wanted. Uh Although the that means that the if these guys win, they'll probably go on our side. Will they win though? That's the question. Uh they're probably receiving a bunch of Okay, that's... no, okay. No lend lease from anyone outside. Good. Yes, yes, the Brazilian Socialist Republic has joined the Comintern. Thank you. Although, they're weak, so it's unlikely that we'll, they will win. Is there any way we can, like, aid them? <gasps> we could nuke Brazil. Is, uh, that... that hurts when... Say, just saying that hurts, actually. Wait, what? Brazilian Socialist Republic has called Republican Spain as our ally in the Soviet-Iraqi War. That doesn't make sense at all, because they're, they've been in the Soviet-Iraqi War longer than you've existed. What? Alright, it's time. Activate the plan and finish off those damn Japanese. Although I must applaud, I'm like, big applause to Japan for holding out until 1952. And they might even hold- oh shit. Ah, oh, crap, come on, run. Run, please run. Just fuck! Oh, fuck. Time to drop a bomb on Mombasa. These troops have been here for way too long. They're annoying. Let's destroy them. Watch this. Slow down, of course. Sorry, troops, you're screwed. Wait, what? No, you're still, uh... How are you still okay after that? Oh, did I kill my, uh, friends, too? What the fuck? So you're telling me that was not a good idea? Because, uh, everyone around it was also blasted into pieces? You know what, let's, uh, do some paratroopers. I think they are the only solution to get us into Japan safely without being t totally destroyed by ships. Um, since we do have air superiority, uh, but... What? Yes, we'll have to produce uh, transport things, like the transport airplanes. <sighs> uh, how many? That's the question. We can never know. Alright, Socialist Brazil here is losing, but I see a bunch of Soviet divisions coming in, and hopefully they will uh, be able to help out. I'm really crossing my fingers. And it seems like Spain wants to do a naval invasion. That sounds great. Do it. 
Brazil, don't capitulate. Come on. I loved you. We are uh, running out of things to r research, actually. Uh, interestingly enough, of course, I don't think the idea of the game is to play <laughs> this far. But uh, the world event, you know, has changed quite a bit thanks to us, and the game must go on, right? The show must go on. The Brazilian Socialist Republic has capitulated. Well, at least we tried. Um, seems like Spain is really intent on doing that invasion, though. How many divisions do they have? 22. Well, right. Dutchflugena. The uh, Death Flyers. They will uh, indeed destroy Japan once and for all. So how does this work? Right, they have to start off in one spot and end up in another. Can I start off like here and end up here? Uh, no, okay. Right. So what is a valid dropping spot? Why, d why doesn't this work? Alright, we're gonna do it. We're gonna just paradrop straight in. Uh, the, the solution was I had to have the the planes ready here. Um, I don't know how many planes I need. I think this should be fine. They'll move into position and then I think maybe it will probably be in December or something in the middle of the winter when we finally finish off these Japanese. I feel like uh, our plans have always been um, abruptly destroyed or delayed in the middle of everything. Alright, we've done it. I think because uh, uh, of course there are a lot of things, not a lot of things left, but um, we have a bunch of different uh, selections for research and these are, they're all working on something new but there's just nothing new that I can do anymore all I can do now is kind of <coughs> find the different oh sorry <coughs> ah that was terrible yes you can hear I'm terribly affected uh, anyway um yeah I can work on the different types of different tanks the artillery's done the doctrines are done ships almost done on this side then we can work on the older ones which is kind of annoying I guess uh, air wise almost done there you c we could research the old versions of the carrier things which is kind of useless but you know um, but yeah that's pretty much it I think I'm gonna do we'll do the heavy tank here just because 106 Portuguese divisions that's insane I mean Hundred, what kind of manpower do you have? Sure, you must have Angola and shit, but how? Just how? Okay, 132, 227. What? Alright, it's November. It's time to execute this plan and hope for the best. We have two other divisions uh, in this line that are moving over. Just in case, you know, something would go wrong. But I doubt it, because we do have air superiority. There's very little reason to be worried. I haven't even, like, there aren't even enemy planes here. They're not doing it, and it doesn't say why. It says they're gonna do it, but I imagine uh, it's either the preparation or it's uh, the fact that we have six brigades of paratroopers in these two divisions, and we only have five transport planes. Uh, yeah, I actually think that might be the case. You know what, let's uh, remove one of them from the, the plan. Alright, there we go, I just had to assign the transports. I was standing here for what, two months being like, what, what, what? Uh, and I was trying to right click on this, mo no, but I just had to like assign on the air map uh, the transport uh, planes there. So there we go, we have uh, Hokai, oh, no wait, sorry. What was this called again? Uh, Ashi Ashigawa, right? Okay. Uh, let's uh, move in to take this area there quickly. So there we go. Japan capitulates, and um, Shang Kai Shek announced that the cowardly Japanese nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming. Pr 
presence of Chinese forces. Well, I'd say actually the Swedes destroyed the Japanese at the very end. I mean, we didn't do much against China or Japan throughout the war, but this finally brought them to their knee. Uh, you know, the new we'll say it was nukes, right? Uh, even though apparently it didn't really do much. Uh, let's actually destroy this plan and get everyone home. How do how do I do that? Can I get you home? Oh yeah, no I can't. Oh, actually. Let's, uh, you. Uh, should, yeah, let's not para drop anyone. This person can stay here. And then we'll move in on Tokyo or, or this area. Uh, we'll, we'll nuke it to hell though, uh, first. But we'll see, the peace deal should... I mean, who is still surviving? No one, right? So, the Axis must surrender now, I believe. 100%, 100%, right. Very soon. So, this uh, peace screen is rather interesting. Uh, it seems like the Soviets have decided to satellite Korea, Libya, and legionary Romania. They've also... Or China has decided to take Iwo Jima and a bunch of stuff from Japan, which I don't care about. What I care about, though, is uh, the this area here, um, which I want. Uh, however, that seems to be too much. This is grayed out. Uh, if I take all states, obviously that's too much. Uh, it's gonna be kind of a back and forth. I could, I mean, what do I want? Alright, even though the first turn I could say Puppet Germany or Puppet Italy, I wouldn't uh, secure the territory which could make the map look ugly. So, I'm just gonna go for Schleswig-Holstein and then we'll keep expanding from there. I hope uh, we can take more. Oh, fuck you, Spain. Sets up a collaborationist government in Germany. Damn it. Uh, let's try to go for Italy then, I think. Although, apparently, we can't do anything much than pass. I was clicking around. See, like Mecklen Bla Mecklenburg, that's 47, so that's too much. I can't puppet it Italy either, that's too much. Uh, satellite Lithuania, too much also. Really strange. Alright, I think this will do. We're taking quite a lot, and the map looks really ugly right now, but you have to remember that the Allies uh, are included in this deal. So it will it will look better, and I think I'll release uh, the Czech Republic as a vassal or or something. Uh, so let's pass that. Like I could take Northern Italy, but I really don't feel like that's necessary. So let's uh, click done. All right, there we go. The Treaty of uh, Treaty of Saipan. Volkemet uh, took 19 states. Soviet Union took four states. China took eight states. The People's Republic of China took seven states. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea was puppeted. Libyan Socialist Republic, etc. Slovak Socialist Republic was puppeted. French Commune was puppeted. Oh, yes. Uh, the People's Republic of Japan was puppeted. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's There's a bunch of new countries here. Um, now, here's the thing, though. The Here's the uh, Socialist Republic of... Germany. Is that what it's called? It's called that, right? Yeah. Alright. Uh, but we also have East Germany. Look at that. Oh, there's a slight difference in the flag there. Where the emblem is different. I think one is, or the gray one is what happens if you for example become communist with um, the, uh, the Germans without creating East Germany. And then this is West Germany. Or, sorry, East Germany. That's a puppet of the Soviets. But both of these are actually puppets, so... Oh, uh, no, yeah, this one's a uh, Spanish puppet. Goddamn, Spain. Always screwing this up. And then and then there's, like, West Germany. Or Socialist Republic of Germany. And th this is another symbol. So that's kind of funny. Let's look around. French Commune. Nice. Aubert. Uh, du Bel. Uh, we've got the... Italian People's Republic, of which uh, we control southern territory here because we felt, even though most of the damage that we dis or dealt was against Germany, 
we felt like, oh well, we need to protect the southern or the Mediterranean or something. We also puppeted uh, Yugoslavia here. So that's a Swedish puppet here. Uh, we've got Croatia. Croatia, who puppets that? The Soviet Union. Um, yeah, that's really nice. Also, we did take a few Japanese isles. So we've got Okinawa. Oh, what's this? Why are there... Oh, yeah, okay, they're foreign troops. Right, British, of course. Alright, so, uh, yeah, oh, and we took uh, Palau here as well. So, that's pretty cool. Um, now we must continue the war against the Allies. Oh, and the People's Republic of China d d grew a lot. And we also have the uh, these guys as well. Alright, but let's... Uh, this is going to be interesting because now China, uh, they're they're going to probably go into a civil war and start fighting each other, and they'll definitely be joining one of our sides. So we should definitely try to, to keep an eye here. But on another note, we have two nukes here, so let's uh, use one on Tokyo uh, since we do have the capacity, and just uh, see what happens. There we go. Ha ha. Alright, I feel like uh, a bunch of pop-ups just decided to come up. The Pol- uh, Siam capitulated, Polish People's Republic, etc, etc. Atomic bombing of Tokyo. Uh, so, today a nuclear strike was directed at the heart of the Japanese Empire. Well, I mean, also the British. The capital, Tokyo. Yet ultimately, perhaps due to the significance of the new capital and the Imperial Palace, which has now been destroyed, and even more all-consuming fire has fallen on the city. Does this mean the end of the Japanese Empire? Yes, the Japanese are gone, by the way, so, haha. -ha. Oh, hey, the P Spanish puppet suddenly just decided to become a Soviet puppet. That's nice. Uh, so now it actually looks good, but I wish I had taken Berlin. Uh, it wasn't possible, though, it was too expensive and they had already puppeted it, so... Oh well. Alright, we're really kind. Apparently we can't puppet... I mean, it's not... We, we can just... We can only return territory, so we're gonna return uh, Czechoslovak territory to the Czechoslovak Union. Uh, and now the game is gonna freeze, of course. Because that's just how it, they roll. Alright, there we go. We have the Czechoslovak Union owning this. Uh, however, they also own these areas, uh, which were, I think, annexed by Hungary. If, yes, I think those are Hungarian provinces nowadays. I'm not sure. Yes, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, and then there's also the, the Slovak Socialist Republic. I wonder if they can, uh, join up together. That would be really cool. Uh, actually, did I... No. Right, the Austrians were pu pu puppeted by the other people. Uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna check something. I need to check this. Uh, who do we puppet? Oh, truce with other nations. Yeah, I don't care about the truce. Growth of political parties. Okay, we only have the y Yugoslavia as a puppet. But, you know, that's... Yeah, we, we got quite a lot from our war, so that was pretty cool. It says that the British are close, or 4% on the way to capitulation. I wonder if that was the bomb. Um, I'm really curious. I think we should uh, drop another one. And I've already found a target. 40 points here in, uh, in Osaka. And, uh, yeah, it's quite heavily industrialized and shit. So let's uh, ruin the British people's day. Uh, of course, they're actually just occupying Japanese territory. Unless they annex... No. Yeah, they're occupying it, because it's technically part of the Japanese Republic here. Uh, and they are a puppet of the People's <laughs> Republic... Uh, or it's, uh, it's... They're a puppet of Mong Mongolia. That's crazy. Imagine if, like, when Japan gets back their shit, that's... It's gonna be kind of funny. Mongolia owns Japan. Oh, there we go. Another bomb. Another day. Uh, atomic bombing of Kyoto. Uh, a prominent Japanese industrial center was struck today by a nuclear bomb. It was speculated that the city was chosen as a target because it has been regarded as an 
intellectual center. What? Really? I thought it was, it was just because it was heavily industrialized, but whatever. Um, legacy and beauty mean nothing in a war like this. We shall destroy the, the British. Soviet expansion in Europe. Oh, because the, yeah, the Lithuanian, this, uh, Lithuanians decided to join the Soviet Union. That's fine. Ooh, the Chinese have cancelled their non-aggression pact. And why is that? Because you're getting ready for war, aren't you? Well, Mao, when will you join us? We need you. Hiroshima? Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Come on. There we go. Boom. Nice. No, I mean, it's terrible. Ah, oh, see, that's the thing. The graphics are good, the the fact that we're winning is cool, but um, th at the same time, you think about all the casualties and, ugh, okay, yeah, anyway, yeah, we, I'm not gonna read this because it's just too, too depressing. Oh, look at that, we actually had a battle here, uh, our 1,000 tactical bombers survived, uh, but we sunk a battle cruiser, so that's good. Well, this may be technically a loss, right? But we cannot produce them, so in the long run, it's a victory. And plus, we we did sink quite a few things. Mm, I think the Soviets are doing good. I mean, we're challenging their naval supremacy for the first time. Uh, I don't see any American fleets here, and uh, as soon as we pummel them down, I think. Uh, will be able to mount an invasion, or rather, the Soviets will. Oh wow, the Americans are uh, really trying to mount an invasion here, but uh, I don't think it's going to succeed. Okay, we're finally doing it. Our fleet is 120 strong nowadays, so I think we could actually catch the Brits and Americans off guard here. Uh, yeah, they're routing. Look at that, we only lost 10 naval bom bombers, and yeah, that this is nice. Sinking the last remnants of the British fleet. Ha 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 ha. This is so nice. Oh, look at that. Bye bye, Brits. The Swedish and Soviet fleets combined in the English Channel for the greatest battle in naval history. Look at this. This is just. An we lost two destroyers and 49 naval bombers, which is, you know, fine. We can. I have a bunch of reserve ones. Uh, but the American fleet and the British fleet. They just got wrecked. Six carriers. Six modern carriers were sunk. Thirteen heavy cruisers. Ten battleships. Three battle cruisers. Holy crap. Nineteen subs. It's just... T uh, well, we're, we're gonna win this. I was gonna bomb Nagasaki, but uh, I think we're gonna go for Nagaoya because Nagasaki is actually in a different air zone and... I don't have any bases close enough at the moment, so let's end it on this. Uh, let's go. Let's, oh, sorry, we already. Yeah, Naga, Naga, Nago, Nagoya. I'm sorry for mispronouncing this shit, but you know, can't be a miracle at everything. We're good at all languages. Let's see, and boom, another bomb. And there's probably another event for this particular city as well, I imagine. See, if we keep bombing them, it says uh, they will capitulate when it has 41% or less. Just, if I keep pounding Japan, uh, then they will surrender eventually, if we can get that up to, um, is it 95%? Ooh, wow, well, it's kind of depressing actually. Alright, but you know what, I think, uh, you know, I've overdone this episode because I did think that uh, we could perhaps do a final push and finish the game in this time. I thought the Soviets would, uh, you know, do some invasions, but I feel like the war is going to continue, and thus, uh, this would probably be a, an appropriate place to end it at. We defeated the Axis, finally, or Japan, rather, and we've been killing millions of civilians and different Japanese cities and of course in Ireland um, but I do believe that in the next episode we shall be seeing uh, the United Kingdom finally um, being bombed to dust not 
as in the mainland, but at them actually surrendering because if you look here, I'm building more nuclear power plants. We're gonna get more nukes per per year, uh, up to six I think per per year, which is gonna be nice. And so our goals should be achieved. And our puppet states throughout Europe are building up, so uh, I do believe we will be having uh, an invasion somewhere at least in the near future. Anyhow, as I was saying, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, share with your friends, that would really, really help me out, I would really appreciate it. And of course, I'll be seeing you later, this has been Game Gabster, farewell.